Hello. Um, today we're going to look at um, percent complete, having decimal places in percent complete in Microsoft Project. Um, this video is prompted by a question I answered on a forum where a user wanted to show his percentages with decimal places. Um, I still don't know how to make Microsoft Project the default percent complete field to show decimal places. So we're going to come up with a workaround. And for followers of this channel, you would know that I love using custom fields. So today we're going to use a custom field and we're going to use a text custom field. So if we add, so assuming we have this shadow, just a simple shadow, two milestones and four tasks that I've called dummy one, dummy two, dummy three, and dummy four. You can see some active some tasks have been completed. So one in progress, and these two have not started. And we've got our status date, which is the I think the twenty first of the twentieth of March. Okay, so to add a percent complete field to have to show decimal places in the percent complete field, we should go we add a new column. So I'll go for text one. So I'm using the text field so that I can format it. So I click on the format tab, custom field. Now I rename this to just display the percent symbol. Um, I need a formula. So Microsoft Project by default calculates percent complete based on duration. So you're looking for actual duration over the total duration. So that's what we're going to do. We go duration, actual duration, divide by duration. Okay. So if I click OK, it's a prompt that it will delete existing data. That's fine by me. Okay. And text one. So you see it's shown, it's giving errors for the milestones. That's fine. And it's showing one. So it's showing the fraction. It's just showing the percentages in fractions now. Though. So what we need to do, we go back to our formula. We need to format this formula. So um, if I cut this for now, look for, go to text format for expression, paste what I just cut and the format I want, it's, um, it's I want it in percentages. So I just say percent. So these are the options, I don't need them, so I can delete this, yep. Say okay. Now you can see we have them in decimal places. We have decimal places now in the percent. But you notice we still got errors for the milestones and the summary. It's, it's not rolling up to summary, so I go back to my formula for the summary, I say use formula. Okay, the summary part is solved. So now to the milestones, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so for milestone, go So I cut this formula again. So this time I need an if statement. So look for general if. And what I'm looking for is, um, oh, sorry, let me cancel this for now. So you notice there are two parts. There's 
from we'll look at milestones that are not yet 100% complete and milestones that are 100% complete. So we need to account for these two conditions. So if I come to my formula, so this time I caught it. So again, my if statement. So what I want first of all is treat for zero percent complete. So go number percent complete if it's equal to zero. The true part should be just show zero percent complete. can paste the formula that we cut back in here okay now that solved the problem for milestones that are zero percent complete but it's still not solved for milestones that are hundred percent complete so we go back to our formula we know the part for zero percent complete works so I, I cut this part out now, I need another if statement. This time I'm gonna check if it's 100% complete. So I need, I need to find, first of all, check if it's a milestone. So it's go for flag, there's a flag for milestone. So you go flag if milestone and if the milestone is 100% complete, so you go then complete equal to 100 so what i've checked is if it's a milestone and the milestone is 100 percent complete you just display 100 percent with two decimal places but if it's not our original formula comes in this time so Click OK. Oh, it says there's an error in the formula. So this is this should be like quotes, not um, closing bracket. So we go OK. And that's it. We now have percent complete in, with decimal places. So you can hide the default Microsoft project percent complete field column. And you're left with your schedule showing percent complete in decimal places. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. See you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.